Hi guys, welcome back to the Alpha Customs YouTube channel. So today is a quick DIY video which is going to be under 10 minutes. Uh, we're just going to be changing this mirror here. So as you can see, there's damage to this mirror. It's on a Peugeot 508. And this is the car that we're going to be dealing with today. So on our channel, you might have realized that we worked on a Peugeot 206. And now we're working on a Peugeot 508. So this is going to get completely removed and replaced with a new unit and a new glass which is all part of the actual mirror so we're going to start off by removing all the plastic trims inside you need to remove the plastic door card inside as well as all these plastic coverings on the other side of the mirror so we're going to do that and then we're going to disconnect the wiring that is going into the mirror and we're going to start unbolting the actual mirror uh, this is your first time to this channel please do remember to subscribe and be part of this alpha customs journey and what are you waiting for let's get crack lucky so to start off with you want to remove this plastic bit here you can do it with your hand like i did or you can use one of these trim removing tools so you can see there's a bolt there which holds the mirror in place however all the wiring going into the mirror is behind the door card which means you need to remove the door card um, in order to get access to the actual wiring in order to do that there is a few bolts behind here so you're going to use the trim removing tool and just get behind here this will come off and you can see there's a torx bolt inside here so you want to remove that so this is the first time that we're actually doing this on a Peugeot 508 so I'm trying to learn as I go but normally door cards are generally the same with any car um, so I'm going to start off removing that bolt and then I believe there should be clips around the actual door card there's a few bolts that we need to remove first there's one here one here one here and um, there might be others which surprise us but for now there's one here one here and one here so you want to remove them uh, first and it's a t20 i believe t25 that we've got yes bottom one is a t20 the other two are t25 One more T20 bolt hidden inside here. So if you're trying to take off the actual door card and realizing why this bit isn't coming off, it's because there's a bolt right behind here. Chief removed the door card a bit and you've got access to the wiring you can see on this car since it's a power folding mirror there's two wires going in you want to disconnect both all you have to do is get to the sides of it and I believe there is a yellow tab just below and you want to take that off and then you should be able to pull this out so here you see right next to the tab there is this plastic bit you want to pull this push this in and then pull out the connector and it should come out same with the next one push this in pull that out so you want to pull this connector out and then press on that and then the wire should come out so as you can see these are the two wires that go into the mirror and now we've just got two bolts that hold the mirror in place we're going to remove them and the mirror will be out so now there is two 10 mil bolts that we want to remove so you just remove them here 
If you're doing this by yourself, just loosen it a bit um, since the mirror might fall out. So you want to just loosen it a bit and then go to the other side and do the rest with your hand. should be ready to come out. You want to gently get it out of place. And there's a little clip here. Just want to put a screwdriver, push that down. And then there we go. The mirror is out. Bada bing bada boom. So this part actually costs 500 pounds. Um, it's quite expensive but it's a genuine part from Persia. So we're going to start off by feeding the wires through. So there's a hole here which you want to feed the wires through. Once you fed the wires through, you can just push it all down. And you want to line it up so it comes across with the bolts. And while holding it down, you want to start putting the bolts in. So now that the mirror is in place and it's not moving around, you can go ahead. You can see that this has two connectors, so it's the correct mirror. Since this is a power folding mirror, it, it needs two connectors. If yours is a manual mirror, uh, which you fold with your hand, then it might just have one connector, which is for the heater, but this has two. So we're going to do that, start putting it back in its place. This brings us to the end of this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it informative. A few tips that I want to share with you guys is one, when testing the car, you want to start it up. Make sure you test the windows because sometimes what people do is put the door cards back on and they forget about the windows. And what they do is they put this door card on top of the window glass so when the window starts going up, the door card is also going up and it's going to start loosening your door card over time. So make sure there's always a gap um, before putting the glass or putting the door card back on. Next thing, we want to check the mirror. Since everything is in, we want to check if it's working. So we want to start off by checking if the power folding bit is working, which it is. Wow, I can see my own face. What a beauty. <laughs> I'm joking. Before anyone says, oh, you're vain and all of that in the comment section. I was just uh, joking. So, we'll check the mirror to see if it tilts and if it works. So, I want to put the ignition on for that. And this mirror actually comes with an um, assist at the end. So, you saw that light or maybe you didn't. That is to make sure that you have cars next to you or you're inside your lane. So it has lane assist. So you want to make sure this light is actually working as well. Um, so everything else is working. Also, you want to make sure the signal light on this is working too, since it's a whole unit. So that's all working. The lane assist is working. The mirror tilting is working. The mirror folding is working. And the window is in place. So this is job done and also to add pressure, my brother is recording this video so I was under high pressure while doing this video but it was all done perfectly and this is the end result. So if you did like that, please do remember to like, subscribe and comment, be part of this Alpha Customs journey 
and I hope you guys found it informative. So until next time, peace.